Well, what do we have here? A genius who's ended up fixing the old car stereo for us for the 72 Vista Cruiser. Finally gonna have a proper AM FM stereo with the factory 8-track player. I'm getting the um, case for the 8-track fixed right now. Whole bunch of parts had to be put together. The amplifier box happened to be from a Corvette, as um, George found out. This place that we're visiting right now is called Grandpa's Radio. George has been fixing radios for over 50 years. Also some interesting wild stuff. The size of these vacuum tubes over here. All from a bygone era. Check these out. I'm sure Radio Wild will enjoy these. Really something to behold. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Even a complimentary Oldsmobile tape we found. And that's the unit. All put back together. Uh, Chevy truck. Tubes in it. 67 to 70 Chevy truck. People would certainly love to have something like that. 66 Chevy. Yes. That. that one up there. Yeah. 68 Chevy. 68 Old Tornado back here. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, because it has. That old yeah. it's 68 Old Tornado. Yeah. And there's an and there's an eight track player up there for Olsen Bay as well too. Yeah. A little bit dark to see, maybe, but yeah, it was a little holes in this stuff. Look at that. Yeah, it does have a ground fire box in as well, too. Oh, wow, fresh flat floor. Yeah, that's it. They had that round dial on them. And up there, a 51 fever. Just here's a little something on George. There's radio place, Grandpa's radio. We're just preparing an antenna splitter. So we'll be able to work the aftermarket stereo on the car and with the still be able to use the factory AM FM stereo. So we'll have both of them going. Truly a dying art this is, this sort of work.
Well, George is going to open up the uh, splitter and repair it because he does not have an extra one lying around. So, instead of throwing it away like a lot of people would do, he's going to fix it. Cut off the rivets. Take it from the... Well, George has had to totally rebuild this uh, unit over here because uh, there was a bad wire internally on one of these. So he's actually putting on two new wires outside. And there's a coil which acts like a resistor so that... Um, the radio still think there's only one antenna versus, or excuse me, two, excuse me, one cable versus two cables going to, because that could upset how the radio picks up and perceives the sounds and everything like that. So, certainly is an interesting art was being done here. That's where the car's antenna would come in over here normally. This little radio, but it has to go in here so it gets split from here out to both of the radios that the car is going to have in it now. So, the plan changes every second when you're fixing up old cars, it would seem. So, we're going on with this part of the adventure. Maybe I should start collecting stamps. Even those are pretty expensive too.